Okay, design group. I know you've been bored to death because only Matt, you've been with Matt the whole time. So, uh, you finally have went to, now you can wake up for a little bit because I will be here. So we're going to talk about all the documentation you need to do for those requirements that you and Matt have talked about for the last hour-ish or so. Um, yeah, we'll go with that. Yeah, whatever. So, um, so this is the documentation that you need to do for the payload status review and it's called the interface control document we call it the icd right so the icd is the document that you're going to submit to us before the payload status review um, basically what it does is it defines the requirements and interfaces between your payload you and us uah spacecraft right so we need to make sure everybody understands the roles and responsibilities of everybody else so therefore, there's no funny business at the end of the semester and everyone going, I thought you, uh, but, but. yeah, no, it's over. So we're gonna make sure, and that's what this document does, okay? These documents in uh, the real world when we're working with NASA are huge. I mean, they can be thousands of pages to make sure modules of the space station lock on correctly in space, you know, things like that. These things can be really, really big. Yours, not so much, right? Because it's a little payload, you're a little payload, and we're the spacecraft, and so it's not a big deal in this one. So basically it documents everything so we understand all the aspects of the requirements, right? It's going to talk about the four requirements, the four types of requirements that Matt talked to you about. He had a little drawing on the board. He was so proud of himself because awesome. he drew on the board, mm -hmm. right? He had to make sure he get the right color marker and everything because, you know, that's the way he is. Sweet. It's black yeah. marker. Yeah. So mm -hmm. there's the project requirements. Those are the requirements that we give you, right? There is no magic to these. They're already given to you. You know every one of them. Five kilograms mass, volume, right? Blah, 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 blah. There's a Word document in the front of your book about it. Yeah, <laughs> so this is, this is pretty simple, right? And so from there, you then get the science requirements. Well, that's the objectives and all the stuff you're working on right now. Hopefully, you've been doing that pretty well. The instrument, what, the instruments, what is it? Yeah. the masses, the powers, the data. Blah, blah, all blah, that blah, kind blah. of stuff. Mm -hmm. Those are actually requirements. So you, you, we think of them as objective and all that stuff, but they're really requirements because they're what your, your payload has to do, right? If you say it must have a thermocouple on it, yet the payload, when you actually design it, doesn't help with a thermocouple, you violate a requirement, right? So you got to get all that right. Functional. Uh, Matt showed you getting to school, right? Getting to school. Awesome. Right? It's, it's, As we say in Alabama, getting scooped. Getting scooped. Mm. No, scooped. Scoop. It's a great video. See, he can't even say it. And you know he's from here. He's from here I don't, see, I don't know what he's talking about. Yeah. <laughs> I don't get him yet. Yeah. Um, so, but you've got functions, right? Howls, measure, stuff like that. The so, ball. those are requirements, right? So, this is something we need to put in the document because mm. these are things you must do, right? You might have more things you must do, but there are at least six things. Six. Six. Six, six mm. things you must do. So make sure and put those in there. The environmental. People always skip this part. This is actually a pretty important part, okay? Because the science objective said, we're going to go to Europa and we're going to play with the plumes, you know, right? Well, what's that environment like at them plumes? You know, that's the kind of thing we need here. How hot is it? How cold is it? I don't know. Is it cold? It's very cold. It's very cold. No. So it's cold, right? Radiation, you know, all that. We got to know all these things and we need to know how long you expect to be there so we know how long we have to survive that environment. Surviving, I don't know, it's uh, 32F, right? Freezing outside for a minute versus having to survive it for five hours is very different. You can walk out in shorts and a t-shirt for a minute, right? In 32 degrees F, right? In snow. Walk outside in, in, in the sun. If it snows, this summer. Uh, summer. If it snows, this winter. Walk outside and do that. For a minute, you can survive. Now, if we put you out there for five hours, you're dead from frostbite, you know? You can I mean, survive 10 degree weather yeah. for a minute. And yeah, and see, it's all right. Mm. But it's the difference in the, in the whole time period, right? And so we also need to understand that because you go, it's going to be 27,000 degrees. And everybody's going to go, oh, but you say you have to survive for two seconds. Okay, mm. you know, that's a different story. Now, that's the kind of thing we need out there. The environmental, PJ brought up a good point, is that... Um, I was bringing up good points. Yeah, well, of course. Yeah. So... Uh, I guarantee you, on your final review, someone's going to ask you an environmental requirement question. I guarantee you this. Someone's going to say, well, what's the temperature? Where you, you know, what, what do you expect the temperature to be there? They're going to ask you that question. And we've seen and you'll so... you in writing, it's guaranteed. guarantee? I, yes. Stamp it. I mean, it is... We've seen so many teams just 
flounder on that very basic, easy question. And uh, at that point, the, the, the board, you lost the board. They don't have any faith or confidence in you at all. If you don't know what the temperature is going to be, where you're going, boom, you lost. Okay. So um, know your environment. If, I mean, well, you, you have to know what to design to it, but if for no other reason also, they're going to ask you a direct question because no matter what the background of the board member, they know that temperature is a, is a thing and they know it's a big deal. So they're going to ask you an environmental question. So just please know your environment. So this ICD is signed after the payload status review. You're going to submit it Friday, September 26th before the payload status review. Then what happens over the next week or so is the UAH program manager on our side uh, can review it and iterate with you on it and that kind of thing. And then after that, it's signed by everybody, right? I think the PM, chief engineer, or maybe some other people on it, uh, program manager, teacher, everybody's going to sign off on it. After that, if you want to change it, after that, everybody got to redo it. Everybody got to agree to redo it. And there's a reason why, you know, gotta be, why did you decide to do it? That kind of thing. So you don't want that. So this needs to be pretty much set in stone once you're done. Okay. So there's different sections to this document and we're going to tell you about each of them, right? PJ, is there a template for this document? Yeah, well, yes, Matt, there is on the Inspires. Downloads page. Ta-da. Right. It's a Word doc. It's Download already. it. Pull it down. Download it. Correct. Mm -hmm. And then mm -hmm. and type in it and go, oh, look at here. It's you know, and type in it however much you need to. Mm -hmm. Okay, so it's out there. So go get it. You got, use the do, use the template seriously. If, change the file name when you save it so that it's for your team. That's about it, though. But the file name is actually put in the RFP. Yes. Correct. You're supposed to name it. So that's how you're supposed to name it. So introduction, right? The first part of this document introduces the document, and describes the contents. Kind of interesting, right? Mm -hmm. Give your high school name, right? We are West Point 3, blah, blah, blah. Whatever team name you are, blah, 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 blah. If you have the information. You know, well, you should know what high school you're from. Well, high school, yeah. Some of the yeah. teams aren't set yet. Yeah, but. but team names should be there, too. This is Payless Dash Review. That's remember. true. Mm -hmm. We're actually filming this a few weeks early. So yeah. we're trying to get you ahead of time. So team name, all that stuff needs to be in there. So it kind of gives the reader a, oh, okay, got it. I understand what the point of this document is. Give your team number too, just so we can make sure we have everybody crisp and uh, separated. Because right. we don't, cause some, of the, some of the team names we're not quite clear on, but the team numbers we got you guys. Yep. So keep it short, sweet, and to the point, right? Don't be all, blah, 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 you know, don't give us all that crap. Once upon a time. It's not literature. No, mm -hmm. this, is, this is engineering. Boring to the point, we're done, right? That's what we want. Next section is on, section is on project requirements. Uh, it outlines the requirements given to you by the Inspires project by us. Okay, just give us the list: five kilograms of mass, you know, volume, blah 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 blah, autonomous, blah 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 blah. Right? No bangs, no booms. Yeah. Mm. You can elaborate, which means to explain uh, the implications of the project requirements as you understand them. So, five kilograms of mass, like that one. That one says can't be that big. You know, you can't do like wow stuff. You can do some huh stuff. You know. So that kind of thing is what you want to do. Purpose of the section is to make sure that your interpretation of the requirements is consistent with the Instar, in, Instars. Inspires interpretation. I should slow down if that's you. Basically, yeah. Basically, we're going to make sure you understand what we told you to do. Yeah. You're okay. kind of regurgitating this stuff back to us. And we want to make sure that the way you understand it is the way we intended for you to understand it. Right. Mm -hmm. and, and this year, well, duh. Hey, this is the way the world works, okay? Because you can have a customer telling you all kinds of stuff and you are interpreting it one way and they meant it a very different way. So always, very good practice is to turn around and say, this is what I thought you said. Okay. Every semester we get a question about deployment and about um, how much of the payload has to deploy or what has to deploy or what can we do this, can we do that. Every, every semester, that's, that's what this hopes to alleviate, hopes to, to make sure everybody understands it basically. Yep. So. Okay. Science is the next one. We beat you to death over this one, hopefully by now. Boom. Uh, Not literally, but. Yeah. So mm -hmm. the science objective and the science requirements is basically what this one's about, right? So it's going to give the objective, what you're going to do, that kind of thing. But it's also going to include those three very, 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 very important tables, right? And we have worked on those a lot mm -hmm. on TPR1. Uh, payload status review and you're going to keep talking about them throughout the semester. You will know those tables by heart probably before this the end of the semester. 
but that's the science traceability matrix where it starts with your objective it ends with your requirement your requirement your instrument right and so you explain all that you've got the instrument requirements table which is basically the next part where it's the instrument tells everything the instrument needs to do its job right it's going to tell us how much power it needs what mass it needs what volumes it needs how much data it's going to send out all that's got to be in there okay and then the last thing is the support equipment all that other crap that you need to make this thing work right processors transmitters yeah. it's not instrumentation because it's not measuring stuff but antennas processors like storage Matt said. all that kind of junk that you don't it, it's you need it but it's not really an instrument right and so we made this table for that purpose so we need all of those tables crisp and clean and just perfect right they should be perfect by now if you don't if you can't don't hey you there's no excuses about finding mm -mm, there's no excuses about finding uh instruments you just or, didn't know you didn't i know or i just did that didn't i or support equipment it's in the book look in the book if you can't find it online where is it it's in the book in the workbook the inspires workbook it's we've got uh almost every instrument you could want or you could need let us know if you can't find one and then all the support equipment you could also possibly need. Let us know if you can't find what you need there. Yep. If you go online and find more precise things, but if you can't find something that, it, then you can use the stuff that we have as a representative. Yep. This is probably gonna be the biggest section of the ICD because we've focused a great deal on it so far. And it's the stuff that's basically saying, this is what we're gonna go do at place, right? Europa, Jupiter, wherever. This is the stuff we need to make that happen, okay? Because then the board can look at this and go, yes, you totally got this. You're, you're characterizing the situation. You understand the problem at hand. Now go create the solution to solve that problem, right? That's what you're doing right now is we totally get our problem. We got it under control. We're ready to go forward. That's what this is about, okay? Do your best to get as much of this as you can. Because like I said, once this is signed, you got to go get a lot of people to re-sign it. And you don't want to do that. You just want to go ahead and get it finished now and be done with it. And this is the most information packed in one, these three tables right there. And you can find it. If, if, if you have some off the wall instrument that you can't find the data rate on or something, let us know. We'll try to help you with that. But most of the stuff should be in the book. Yep. Functional requirements. Okay. This is the boring thing you had to listen to with Matt while ago. Okay. I'm getting to school. It's right. Awesome. Yeah. Not really. I was in the back of the room. I was already asleep halfway through it. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. So describe what functions your payload must do, right? These are in the book, okay? That one little sheet has got the six of them. That's what we want here. We don't want the solution. I don't want to know how you're going to deploy. I want you to realize right now you have to deploy, okay? This is literally a regurgitation. Yes, again. This is not rocket science. No, this mm -hmm. is not rocket science, okay? So don't give the solution. I've seen that so many times. I don't care right now what that is. That's for later on, that's the fun part. Right now, I want you to go, I do have to deploy, I do have to measure, I do have to do all these things, okay? There, That's there's at least the six. You may have more, like PJ said earlier. You might have seven or eight. You might have to survive impact with the surface. That's a, that's a, that's a big function right there. Yeah. You might, have to, you might have to fly through a plume or something like that. Survive being, survive flying being through a plume. by yeah. stuff. Stuff, yeah. So you might have more requirements than the six, but the six are the basic ones that every, every payload has to do. You might have more depending on what you're doing. Yeah. And we hope to catch that in the TPR if you didn't put that in your um, functions already. But remember, just think about what you gotta do. And if you got more than the six, then, then you got more than the six. Really? Yes. Wow. Yes. It's so profound. I'm profound, today. yes. State the obvious and you're never wrong. Yep. Environmental. This is the last section, right? So, describe the environment your payload will encounter during the mission. So, we need everything from once it's deployed till she dies, right? Mm -hmm. All of it. And for how long do you estimate you're going to do it? You might not know for sure right now, right? That's what the physics is about. To mm -hmm. figure out, oh, we're going to fly for 45 minutes. Or, oh God, we're going to die in two, you know? That kind of thing. That's what the physics will tell you is how long things are going to happen, right? But estimate right now, go, well, about half the time, even that gives us a rough order of, oh yeah, that's about, that's a lot more than that, right? Mm -hmm. Deployment, really, really fast. I hate to tell you people, it's like, boom, and you're done. Literally it's not like, makes that noise. Do, do, uh -huh. do, 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 do. No, because. that's like slow motion video if you had to do that. So it's gonna be real quick for you to do that. So deployment's over, but so guess what happens in deployment usually? You have to survive a lot of Gs, because all of a sudden you're, if you're being shot fast, 
that means all meant means meant a lot of force was pushing against you for that little instantaneous part of time and so that's some rough stuff you know some of them g's can get high so a lot of people think yeah it's like hitting a car and whoo you know off as fast as you can so that's the kind of thing you got to worry about here um so but you need the other ones temperature radiation you know and be specific i hate these when you go we're going to europa well, no, duh. Everybody's going to Europa eventually. You know? Jupiter, yeah. We're going to Jupiter. What part of Jupiter? What part of Europa? What's it like there? Because it could be different than just Europa, right? So you got to make sure and be as specific as possible here so you can go, this is where we're going. And at that place, wow, what it's like. You know? That's what we're working for here. Okay? So I think this is the last slide. Mm -hmm. Aha, that is. So this is it, right? So this was supposed to hopefully help you, A, wake up because I know you're all asleep from when Matt was talking to you. B, uh, give you what we want in this document. I mean, we're expecting it to be a couple pages. It's not a novel, okay? Mm -hmm. Not a novel, because I ain't gonna read a novel. We don't read that much. I don't read 15 mm -hmm. novels. No, 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 no. It's not that fun. I mean, if I'm no. gonna read something that long, I gotta be really interested in it. Mm -hmm. This ain't that interesting nope. for me. Mm -hmm. So, remember that, couple pages, maybe five max, you know, you know but, but be brief. Mm -hmm. Give us the thing and be done, okay? That's what we're after. Tables and lists are your friends. So, oh, beautiful. Yeah, yeah. Right, they're beautiful. All right, so as always, questions? You call, not call us. Email us, yes, email us. That's the way to get us. Email us, yes, type on the little keyboard. Or the P and I, one of the two. Right, yeah, mm -hmm. either one. And then uh, if you got an ur urgent question, you can send it to your teacher, and your teacher, you know, that's the nuclear option, because then we go, oh my gosh, what we gotta do? That's the kind of thing, right? So hopefully this helps you guys out and entertain you for a little bit more. Talk to you soon. Bye.